Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. If a population growing exponentially double in size in 3 years, what is the intrinsic rate of increase of the population? Okay, so when we talk about exponential growth, the, what is the relationship? The relationship is dn by dt is equal to r into n. So that is the relationship for an exponentially growing population. So in this question, it says that the population has doubled in size in three years. So the time period is three years. Initially, the size of the population, let's say, was n naught. So after three years, the size of the population has become 2n naught. Right? So that means n after a time period t has become 2n naught. Now looking at this expression, so from this expression the exponential form of the equation that we had derived was nt is equal to n naught e to the power rt. So we will make use of this equation here. So nt is given as 2n naught, this is equal to n naught e to the power r into t, t is 3. So therefore, we say that 2n0 divided by n0 is equal to e to the power 3r. Or we can say 2 is equal to e to the power 3r. So now after this, you apply log on both sides. So if you apply log on both sides, so you get log 2 is equal to 3r log e. Therefore, we can say r is equal to log 2 by log e and 3. So log 2 by 3 log e. The value of log 2 is 0 0.301 divided by 3 into log e is 0 0.434. Therefore, the value of r comes out to be 0 0.2311. So this is the intrinsic rate of increase of the population. Question number 7. Name important defense mechanisms in plants against herbivory. So what is the meaning of herbivory? That is the herbivores they eat on plants. So the plants also need to protect themselves from being too much eaten by the herbivores. So what do the plants do to protect themselves? So there are certain defense mechanisms. For example, in certain plants, the leaves are modified into spines. Now the spines being sharp structures, they, you know, they kind of harm, they injure the animals. So therefore animals try to stay away from these plants. Presence of thorns. A lot of plants, like even in the rose plant, you would see thorns present on the stems. So these thorns also keep the animals and birds away from the plants. Production of harmful chemical substances, for example, nicotine, opium, caffeine. These are some of the harmful substances which are produced by the plant. And these uh, substances, when uh, eaten up or consumed by other animals, can cause harm in them. So they, the animals try to stay away from toxic substances and that's how the plants remain protected. Question number eight. An orchid plant is growing on the branch of a mango tree. How do you describe this interaction between orchid and the mango tree? Now, what kind of relationship exists between the orchid and the mango tree? This orchid plant which grows on the mango tree gets structural support from the mango tree. So the orchid plant is getting benefited. But what about the mango tree? So the mango tree remains unaffected. So there is no impact on the mango tree. So in a relationship where one organism is getting benefited while the other organism is not at all affected is termed as commensalism. So this is an example of commensalism. Question number nine. What is the ecological principle behind the biological control? control method of managing with pest insects. Now what do we mean by biological control method? Now in order to kill the pest insects, one method that is being uh, used is that some certain organisms are introduced into the field which can eat the biologic, which can eat the pest insects. So that is termed as biological control method. So this is based on the principle of predation. So in predation what happens? The one organism eats up other species. So the other species is the prey. So that means it helps to control the prey population. So 
this ecological principle helps to manage with the pest insects therefore any organism that feeds on the pest insects are left in that area that's how the pest insects population can be controlled question number 10 select the statement which explains best parasitism one organism is benefited both organisms are benefited one organism is benefited other is not affected one organism is benefited other is affected so in parasitism the parasite is benefited and the host is affected because the parasite snatches away or derives its nutrients from the host. So obviously the host is negatively impacted. So the right option would be D. Now if both the organisms would have been benefited, what is this relationship? That is nothing but mutualism. So in a relationship where one organism is benefited, other is not impacted at all. So that could be commensalism. So that way we can say that the, that option D is the correct option. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on organism and population and I hope that this lesson would have helped you to understand how different organisms interact with each other, how different populations of organisms interact with each other. So this was just the start of uh, ecology. Now uh, if you want to study at higher levels on ecology you will get to learn about more of these kind of ecological relationships in detail. So I hope this lesson would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.